this was obviously a preset meeting, right? Between the people. And I don't I don't know that for sure because were well, these two vans or these two vehicles left on the scene, did they come there together? Were they allies of each other or were they antagonistic to each other? We don't know that yet. I would bet you there are some weapons probably left on the scene because if these people that were going to this location for this meet, and if it was a pre-set up drug deal, then uh, they would have firearms with them. They would be armed. They wouldn't go to this location unarmed. That's just a fact of the drug trade. And for anyone who thinks that I'm being too blunt and immediately dr- jumping to the drug trade in this incident, well, that's reality, all right? That is the reality of the world we live in. This looks like a horrific drug hit. Uh, look at the violence they used. Not only did they shoot the people, the six bodies there, they set some of them on fire. That is definitely a trademark of the drug trade. Violence. Look at the look at the window of this one vehicle here. SUV with blown out windows and organ license plates is towed away. A silver car from California trailing behind it. Both found near a horrific scene of carnage in the remote area of El Mirage. As the investigation continued early this morning, um, a sixth decedent was located at the scene. So we have a total of six at this point. Yeah, it looks like they tried to set fire to this stuff. There's another- One body was inside the ravaged SUV. At least two others heaped together on the ground. Another a short distance away. It appears some were partially burned. So not all, but Deputies some. Deputies were called to the remote area off a dirt road near Highway 395 for a wellness check around 8.15 Tuesday. This sped up video from Sky... You know, as I said earlier, that that, that wellness check was uh, was a phone call made by someone who knew what was going on, knew that the, this group of people were going to a preset meeting, that they never came home. And that person is probably the best witness that the police have. Uh, Adigar, yes, let's open the borders a little more. All we need to do is look who's in the White House. Just a few years ago, we were getting things more under control at the border, not now. Well, I think there are actually even uh, Biden is recognizing that the border is a mess right now. F- finally admitted to it, but it, 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 it's sort of. Guaranteed, Elizabeth Salvatore guaranteed that the wrong people are being investigated. This level of drugs involves help assistance of the growing massive drug human trafficking level at the local civic level. Guaranteed. Look, the drug trade is a huge business, probably more powerful than the government because they have more money than our government. Fox shows just how isolated the area is, some 40 miles northwest of San Bernardino, surrounded only by sagebrush and Joshua trees. As the sun set Wednesday, several adults and a young child arrived at the scene, claiming to recognize one of the cars. Deputies escorted them in. They did not speak with media. People living in the surrounding communities are still processing the news. Uh, It was surprising. I've living down here in Old Atalanta on this side, on the on the west side of 395. It's it's fairly quiet. There's nothing out there, so I'm surprised even somebody got a call about it. Thing you guys are asking about is probably the worst thing we've ever heard of in our 50 years of being out there total. Investigators stayed on the scene into the night trying to find answers. It's going to be heartbreaking no matter what the situation is, what they discover out there as far as the circumstances surrounding it. Um, So our investigators will continue to do their best to wrap this up quickly. And the authorities haven't released any information on the ages or the genders of the victims. Uh, still so many questions here tonight. And authorities are asking for the public's help if you have any information on what happened or what led up to that horrific scene. Uh, the San Bernardino, San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department wants to hear from you. You can find their information on our website at foxla.com. Reporting live from Adelanto, I'm Chelsea Edwards. I'll send it back to you in the studio. So, you know, someone, someone just um, wrote... Uh, I'm confused. Is this drugs or it's, or, oh, here we go. Sue M, I'm confused. Is this drugs or a border? It's both. It's both. Drugs are pouring across the border. Mexican gangs are, are operating within California. That's, it's both of those things. So, uh, 
and they they are hand in hand believe me because if you don't control the border you don't control the drugs you don't control the border you don't control the mexican gangs that have infiltrated into this country who do you think the biggest market for mexican drugs are yeah you got it the united states right so that's why controlling the border and controlling the drug trade yes of course goes hand in hand uh so it's it's really uh you know, rather than it being a political issue, it's an it's an American issue. It's an issue that our government should be controlling the border in order to protect the people of this country from these gangs, from the drug trade, and the fact that they're not doing that is is, is scary. You know, it's a scary thing. Uh, um, uh, Pressy, just because one president tells you things are getting under control doesn't mean they are. I think the best uh, way to determine whether things are under control at the border is talk to the people who live there. Talk to the people in the border states. And I think they will tell you the truth of what is going on at, the, at uh, this location, how it's affecting them, how it's affecting uh, the town they live in, how it's affecting the children, how it's affecting the drugs that are pouring across the border. Uh, so all of those things are, are, are so, so important. 